There's a very deadly combination in PvE for hunters this season in the form of Lucky Pants and Hand Cannons, so a recent change to Lucky Pants and Illegally Modded Holster combined with exotic hand cannons is very, very effective in PvE content in terms of your damage output. Well, today I'm going to go through some of the best exotic hand cannons to go with Lucky Pants, and also we're going to have a look at those damage numbers. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed, so subscribe today and never miss an update. Well, Lucky Pants recently got a buff not just to make the hand cannon snappy and reload automatically while stowed, but now they also give a stacking damage buff on hits so normally on slow firing hand cannons this damage buff isn't particularly impressive but when you combine it with the quick firing last word or the crimson it can let a solo hunter with a good aim finish off a boss in just two clips well lucky pants and the last word can put up damage numbers that are on par with most power weapons and can even rival the dps of deathbringer perhaps one of the most potent rocket launchers in the game at the moment so let's have a closer look at these lucky pants and Lucky Pants are exotic hunter leg armor, and they come with a perk, Illegally Modded Holster, and this is where the change has been implemented. So, when you ready a fully loaded hand cannon that deals kinetic damage, or a damage type that matches your subclass energy type, each hit from that hand cannon increases the damage on the next shot for a short time against a combatant, and hand cannons are ready faster and more accurate immediately after swapping to them. Also, you've got mobility enhancement, and that increases mobility. So it all sounds great if you're a hunter, but there are some details we need to cover before we get into the damage stacks to get them to work for us in PvE. So what you have to do to get this to work is ready a fully loaded hand cannon, and you are going to see a buff called Illegally Modded Holster. So you're going to want to start shooting immediately because the buff only lasts for five seconds, then you get a debuff when you run out of bullets or change weapon. So massive thanks to Reddit user courtroom for the detailed breakdown. I'll link that full post down below. So, first of all, we're going to look at activation, buff, and debuff. So, activation first, so readying a fully loaded hand cannon. So, that hand cannon must be matching your subclass element, or it must be kinetic. So, for example, if you're using Sunshot, you want to make sure you're using a solar subclass. If you're using a kinetic weapon, then it doesn't really matter. So, stasis hand cannons existing in your kinetic slot do require your matching stasis subclass. So once you have activated, you've got a 5 second window after readying, and then the damage boost activates on combatant hit, and it must be inside the 5 second window, otherwise you are going to be debuffed. So next up, let's have a look at the buff. So what you want to be looking for is the text string damage boost down on the left hand side. The duration is 5 seconds, it's not refreshed. 5 seconds is the total duration, and each hand cannon's damage hit adds a stack of up to times 10 and the damage boost affects the stat with the following, so, so you can pair it up with empowering buffs like the Bubble, a Well, a High Energy Fire, also there's Global debuffs like Tether, Divinity, also the Power of Rasputin mod, the Font of Might mod, and also stacks with weapon perks, mod perks, activity modifiers. So basically, if you are a hunter, you should be using those lucky pants. So when you get shots off with the buff, you're going to get damage increases in increments of about 60%, so first shot will be 60%, second 120, third 180, 240, 300, all the way up to the damage boost times 10, and that is a 600% increase in damage. Well finally, let's have a look at the debuff, so you're going to see the text string out of luck, and the duration is 10 seconds, and this one activates on the following, so swapping the hand cannon before or during the damage boost, firing outside the 5 second activation window, or after the damage boost duration finishes. And while debuffed, you're unable to start or gain more damage boost stacks. And other effects like handling, accuracy, and holster bonuses are not affected and persist at all times. So if you're thinking about using this in PvP, unfortunately it doesn't work in PvP. So this is a PvE only thing. Well next up, let's have a look at some of the best hand cannons to use with Lucky Pants. So I've got a selection here of 140 and 150 hand cannons. You can of course use Ariana's Vow and Sturm. But given the perk improvement on the Lucky Pants, then hand cannons that fire faster are going to get the most benefit. Again, legendary hand cannons work too, but you're not going to be benefiting from some of the speed that these exotic hand cannons have over their legendary counterparts. So first of all, we've got Sunshot, and that is the only 150 RPM hand cannon left in the game. 
plus it's an exotic energy hand cannon. This one comes with sunburn, so the weapon fires explosive rounds and highlights targets that take damage from sunshot. And in terms of the Lucky Pants effect, well, explosive damage is not affected, but no, sunshot and explosive hand cannons damage impact is affected, just not the explosive damage. Sunshot, really, really fun. This is a 150 RPM hand cannon, plus you make things explode, so what isn't to like? Well, next up, we've got Hawkmoon. This is a Kinetic 140 exotic hand cannon, and this one comes with paracausal shots to final blows and precision hits with Hawkmoon grants stacks of paracausal charge, and the final round in the magazine deals bonus damage based on the number of stacks, and stowing Hawkmoon in the final round removes the bonus. In terms of the Lucky Pants effect, paracausal last shot is not affected, and a paracausal shot overrides Lucky Pants damage boost, and also Hawkmoon's base shots are affected just not any buffed final bullet stacks. Well, next up, let's have a look at Thorn. So Thorn is an exotic kinetic hand cannon. Handles really, really well. It's got devastating perks. And also, it sounds absolutely awesome. This one comes with Mark of the Devourer, so rounds pierce targets and deal damage over time. And kills all the weapon leave behind remnants. And also, we've got Soul Devourer, so absorbing a remnant strengthens Mark of the Devourer and partially refills the magazine. In terms of the Lucky Pants effect, will Mark of the Devourer, the poison damage over time, is not affected. Soul Devourer, also not affected. But Thorn's base impact damage is affected, just not the damage over time effects. Next up, we've got Ace of Spades. So Ace of Spades, again, is an exotic kinetic hand cannon. Handles really well, got really good perks, and also sounds good too. We got Memento Mori, so reloading after a kill loads the magazine with a few extra damaged bullets and grants radar while aiming down sights. We've also got Firefly, where precision kills with the weapon increase reload speed and cause the target to explode, dealing solar damage to nearby enemies. So in terms of the Lucky Pants effect, it stacks with Memento Mori, so you get the kill reload provides a six-time buff shot at 50% each. So Ace of Spades, a really good choice to use with Lucky Pants if you are a hunter. Next up we got Crimson, so Crimson is an exotic kinetic hand cannon and shoots much like a pulse rifle with a three burst shot. So this one comes with a perk banned weapon, fires a three round burst and also cruel remedy. So kills with a weapon heal the wielder and precision kills also refill the magazine. In terms of the lucky pants effect, well each bullet in its three burst adds a stack. So for example, a three burst hit equals three stacks. So given the high rate of fire on this one, this one is really really good with lucky pants. Well, finally today, we've got the last word, and the last word is an exotic kinetic hand cannon. And together with the base reload speed, the main perk on the weapon is Fanfire, where this weapon can be fired continuously and quickly. And this one has over 200 rounds per minute and is the fastest firing hand cannon in the game. But the only drawback here is you've only got eight bullets in the magazine. So in terms of the Lucky Pants effect, it stacks with the last word hip fire damage bonus and hip fire precision damage equals 30%. So effectively, this benefits the most. You can use up to two magazines during the damage boost due to its rounds per minute. So I definitely recommend going out there and using the last word with lucky pants so you get absolutely insane damage and you can just delete bosses. Well, let me know down in the comments what you think of the lucky pants rework and also let me know which hand cannon you are using the most. Well, that is it for this Lucky Pants and Hand Cannon build for Hunters in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description. Or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIFEG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.